Bonjour, je m'appelle Max de Fourny, j'ai 17 ans et je roule en Formule 2.0 et mon rêve est d'arriver en F1. Max de Fourny, can he get through back into second position? He's just about got track position, but Dorian Boccalacci's not going to make it easy for him. The next corner's a right hander, so that should favour the young Belgian, but Boccalacci making that high line work through the hairpin, and now is he going to have to continue? He's one of the top drivers of the year, he fait part of the 3-4 pilotes. Qui, qui peuvent sortir du lot et qui peuvent euh, devenir des, des réels contenders pour la F1 dans le futur. Two liter is underway. Good start by Palmer. Good start by Norris. Although Sasha Fenestras tries to move across and defend on the run down towards the Redefilio for the first time. Max de Forni from pole on the outside moves to the inside to defend from De Ruvela. Palmer's on the outside as they dive into the braking zone. De Forni locks up. Is he going to go straight on? No, he gets it slowed down in Tabolica now. So heading now towards Le Com. He's in the draft. In the run, but behind. So Alex Gill in the blue and white car, but DeForney in the pale blue to the outside line. They almost bang wheels, but DeForney goes through. Lando Norris tries to get the pace to try, but he is going to have a go around the outside. That is brave, brave stuff. The outside of Blanchimont will give him the inside line for the boss stop. If this comes off, it'll be the move of the weekend, and Lando Norris does get up the inside line. He breaks as late as he dares, and he's done it. Back into the race lead. Fantastic move. Lando Norris leads the way, but is it going to run out wide as they work their way out of the bus stop? No, he does not. He hangs on to it. So great bit of driving. The British driver leads. Lando Norris up front. Second is DeForney. Third is Fenestraus as they come over the line. DeForney attacks again on the inside line. He's going to go back into the lead at La Source. First, DeForney is really under attack now because Norris will get the toe. He goes to the outside line and should be able to just stroll past him on the way up towards Le Con. Fenestraus behind gets a bit of toe from... De Forney, a bit of toe from Norris, tries to make his move. Lando Norris on the outside, doesn't quite get the lead, or does he? De Forney stays ahead of him. Because we're two minutes and 28 on the clock. Yes, there is time for two more. Up the inside goes Norris, and through he goes. Lando Norris takes the race lead. He goes to the outside line, and De Forney, given the pace that we've seen, should be able to breeze past. He's got his nose in front, and Max De Forney gets back into the race lead. The approach for the final right hand as Max De Forney to the outside, Lando Norris to the inside, but Norris is able to defend. This, though, is allowed. He allowed the door to be opened last time around. Is this part of the plan as Max de Forney retakes the lead? But it does mean that Lando Norris, Forney, we've been here before a lap ago. Lando Norris trying to be as late on the brakes as he dares, but towards the double left hander now. We know that Lando Norris is quick into this corner. Is Max de Forney going to give him racing room? Yes, he is. But Boccalacci has done well as there's another lead change there at the second corner but Lando Norris this time gets good traction off the corner and might be able to get back in front of it. they're heading for Rauch now turn three and Lando Norris has the a lock up there for Lando Norris on the inside just about being given racing room and Max de Forney very close to dipping a couple of wheels into the gravel trap there on the exit can he hold the inside line coming out of Rauch corner yes he can yeah. Lando Norris cannot defend from the young Belgian they're side by side de Forney will be just ahead as they reach the Break, breaking point, but Lando Over Norris under. goes now. Bide your time, De Forney. Which way are you going to go? Goes to the pit wall, almost goes into the pit wall. Two wheels off the circuit there, really last of the lid, breaking stuff.